guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a low impact, pregnancy safe and postnatal safe workout. So if you live in a flat and don't want to annoy your neighbours below, if you've had an injury or if you are pre or postnatal then this is a great one for you. There will be no jumping or anything high impact but hopefully you will still be working hard, get a little bit of a sweat on and feel much better moving. I have got the window open and I live in London so apologies if there's any strange noises and let's get started with the warm up. So starting with your feet slightly wide, toes pointed out, we are going to squat down and we're going to do four punches at the top. So it's going to be a squat, punch, 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 take it back down, let's go, punch, 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 nice, squat, four, three, two, one, take it down, Four, three, two, one. Good. Try not to twist through the body too much. Four, three, two, one. If you are pregnant. Four, three, two, one. Nice. Keep it going. Nice and powerful. Good. I think I just did five on the last one. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Keep it going. Squat down to the depth that feels right for you. Good. Getting nice and warm here. I tend to not be able to breathe through these videos, so luckily it's not high impact, but we can still move and get a nice sweat on, keep it going. Let's go for two more, four, three, two, one, last one, take it down, four, three, two, and one, nice, we are going to come down onto the mat in on our hands and knees, have a nice neutral spine, try not to arch your back. Nice and neutral here, and then just tuck the pelvis under a little bit, just contract the core, and we are going to extend right arm and left leg, and bring it back down and swap sides. Good, so warming up into the glute and the core a little bit here. Good, nice and controlled, working on our balance. Nice. Good, just lifting the glue without arching the lower back and keeping nice and strong here. Good, reaching forward. Woo. Good. Nice, let's go for four more. Good, three. Last two, we're gonna hold, hold it out. For three, two, one, bring it back down, other side, hold for three, two, and one. Nice. Okay, so getting started with the main workout, we're gonna start standing at the top of our mat or just in a space in your room, living room, wherever you are, and we are going to slightly bend the knees, walk the hands out to a plank position, walk them back, and reach at the top. Nice and simple, take it back down. Good, take your time here. Nice. Let's do a few to warm up that little bit more. Hopefully you can see me down on the mat here if I've got the setup right. Nice. Let's go a little bit faster if we can. And reach. Take it straight back down. Slight bend in the knees each time so we're not pulling on the hamstrings too much. Good. Let's go for four. Reach, last three. Reach, two more. Good guys, keep it going. Last one. And reach to the top, nice. Coming into a squat position with your feet nice and wide, arms forward. We are going to squat down, lift the heel, lift the heel, take it back up, nice, take it down, lift. Lift and back up. Good, working the inner thighs here and into the calf and all the legs really. Good, you can have your arms here if that's better. Lift, lift, take it up, nice. Lift, lift, good, I already can't breathe. Back down, lift, lift, Woo. keep it going. Good, working into the legs here and getting the heart rate up. Good, come up, let's take it down. 
lift, lift, let's do two, one, up. So we're doing four now, take it back down, four, three, two, one, good, take it up, should be feeling that in the inner thighs, four, three, two, one, back up, good, let's do two more like this, two, one, back up, last one, take it down, let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, stay here, and come back up, nice, hopefully you are feeling that already, okay, working into the upper body now, coming down onto the mat, onto your knees, coming into a press up position, keeping the elbows tucked in, we are going to go for some press ups, keep everything nice and in line, we are going to come down and press up, nice, try and keep the elbows tucked in, if that's too difficult just come to here, that's fine, you don't have to get all the way to the mat if you want to challenge, come lower, obviously if you have a baby bump you are limited to how far you can come down but that's fine, we're still working into the arms here, make sure your shoulders are above your wrists, good, nice, Keep breathing, working into the arms here. If that's too challenging, take the hands wider. The elbows can come out to the side, working into the chest a little bit more here. Good. Again, don't forget if you're only coming to here, that's okay, as long as you keep moving. Good, let's go for four. Up in if you can, three. Good, two. Nice, last one. Oh, I felt the burn on that one. Well done, coming round onto your bottom. We are going to lay down onto the mat, feet the width of the mat. You are going to lift up into a glute bridge, bring your, shuffle your heels a little bit closer to your bum. If that feels better, think about squeezing your glutes, not bloating out your belly, just keeping everything nice and strong. And then you're just going to lift and extend one leg and take it back down, lift and extend. You can take your hands much wider if it helps, or you can have them up here if that feels better, just for some stability. Good, let's go, lift and extend. Good, this is quite a challenging one, even if it doesn't look it, we are obviously working into one leg and one glute at a time. Keep nice and lifted throughout, try not to let your hips sink. Ooh, apologies for the outdoor delivery trucks. Nice guys, keep it going. I'm really worried I'm not actually in the shot, that would be a real shame, wouldn't it? <laughs> Good. Keep lifting, keep squeezing, bring your arms in if it's too easy. Let's go for four. Good, three. Last two, we're gonna hold, lift up, hold. Lift a little bit higher. Take it down. Other side, lift and hold and bring it down and slowly peel down, vertebrae by vertebrae. You can have a little roll here if that feels nice and take a little breather if you need it. Grab some water. Mm. That just went absolutely everywhere. And let's go into the next exercise. So we are going to do a modified burpee. So we are going to start somewhere in the middle of the mat, probably. Put the hands down, take one leg back, one leg back, then forwards, forwards, stand, reach. Good, hands come back down, legs come back to plank, legs come back in, stand, reach. Good, hands come back down, keep it going. Good, reach at the top, take it down, leg, leg, in, in, and reach. You can bring your legs really wide, so you come into normal plank, then wide, wide to come up, and that way you're lifting up, using your glutes a little bit more. So wide with the legs, wide with the legs, and reach. Nice, take it down. Plank position, wide, wide, and reach. Keep it going. Oh, I just listened. I'm not very good at listening. Keep it going. Good, let's try and speed it up if we can. Good, getting a little bit warmer here. If you are feeling like this is too challenging, then just take it at your own pace. 
but otherwise stick with me and let's keep it going you can still get a sweat on without jumping and we're still working our full body here good try and alternate the legs that you bring forward which i wasn't doing <laughs> just to even it out good let's do three more Woo. reach last two and last one. <sighs> Take a breath. Good, we're gonna burn into the legs now. So taking, let's take the left leg back into a lunge position. You can take it wide so you've got a nice stability. Come down and we're gonna pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, come up to standing, take the other leg back, let's go, eight, good, five, four, three, two, one, good, change sides, keep it going, we're pulsing, for four, three, two, and one, nice, change again, I should have put some music on, three, two, one, good, other side, Keep it going. If you have any knee pain, then you can stick to squats here. Good. Or just do normal lunges. If the pulses are too much, that's absolutely fine. Good, I'm not really counting. Take it back, let's see for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it forward, should be burning. Good, last leg. Five, four, three, two, and one, Woo. that is a quad burner. Okay, straight down onto the floor. We are going to come onto our knees in a press up position again, but we are going to tap the opposite shoulder and then row, row. You can put the feet down for this, so tap, tap, row, row. Nice, tap, tap, row, Row, good, if you want to, you can come up, same thing, feet wide, tap, tap, row, row, good, tap, tap, row, row, nice, take it down if it's too challenging, tap, tap, row, row, nice, core cool. nice and strong here, good, working into the shoulders and the back muscles, nice, slow it down if you need to, tap, tap, row, Row, we can work a little bit faster. As long as you are moving. I am sweating. Tap, tap, uh, row, <laughs> row, sorry. Come down a little bit more. Tap, tap, row, row. Let's do two. Last one, tap, tap, row. And row, well done. Have a little bit of a stretch here if that feels nice. And then straight back onto our feet. I like I've got crazy hair. We are going to go with a squat, so I'm going to go shuffling. Um, so whatever feels comfortable for you, I like quite a wide stance because I can get a little bit more depth. And we are going to squat down and kick to the side, squat, kick to the other side. So Little bit of a stress reliever here. You really want to lean back into that standing leg. Knee slightly bent for stability so you're not locking it out. Good, let's see some power. Squat and kick. Squat, kick. Kick. Nice guys, squat, kick. Keep it going. Nice, let's go for eight, kick, seven, kick, six, power, five, four, three, good, two, kick, last one, kick it out, nice, shake out the legs. Okay, we're on our last little section, we're going to take it down onto the mat, hands and knees, and with one leg, we're going to bring it up, heel flex, so not toe pointed, but flex like this. Nice right angle with the knee. I wish I had a mirror, so this is what it looks. And we're just going to pulse up 
Good. So not arching the back like this. Spine nice and neutral. Good. Core engage and just pulsing here. Nice. Imagining that your foot is going flat up towards the ceiling. Good. And you're just working the small muscles in the glute. Nice. Little pulses here. Should hopefully get you shaking a bit. Good. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Bring the knee back to starting position. And then we are going to lift out to the side. I'm aware I'm doing the wrong leg. Let me just show you this one. So it just lifts out like so at the right angle. So keep with the same leg. Let's lift out and bring it back. Out. Nice. Keep breathing. The core is engaged. And we are working into our abductors here. Good, it's important to strengthen the glutes and into the posterior chain if you are pregnant. Good. Let's go for five, four, you might feel it in the opposite glute as well. Three, from stabilizing, two, and one. Good, keep it hovering, extend it out. Let's lift up and across, tap the floor, up, and tap, nice, up, tap, up, tap the floor, good, up and across, up and across, nice. Again, try and keep your spine nice and neutral, no arching, it's all coming from the glute. Um, if your glutes aren't very activated, it may take a little while. I've literally got sweat coming down my arm, that's lovely. Good guys, let's go for four, three, two, and one, nice, come back, need a little stretch, release the lower back, and then up, we're doing the same on the other side. So, lifting up with the leg, pulses, let's go. Nice. Foot is flexed and we are pulsing up. Right angle at the knee, good. Keep breathing guys, nice little movement here. Waking up the butt if you've been sitting down most of the day, watching Netflix. <laughs> Let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice, bring it down and we're lifting out to the side. Let's go. Fire hydrants. They are called. Nice. You should probably be feeling this in your shoulders a bit as well. If you need to take a quick breather, stretch them out, then you can pause it and come straight back into it. Nice. Good, let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Good, extend the leg out, lift up and across. Nice, up and back. Up and across, up and back, nice, good, nice small movements again, a little pulse at the top and then all the way across, good, let's go for five, four, three, two and last one, nice, okay from here we're swiveling onto our side. I am so sweaty, I hope you are at home. Maybe my flat is just very hot. But we are gonna come down with the arm by our side and we are going to, with our legs on the floor, lift up and bring the arm across and lift down. Good. Nice and simple here. Just getting a little bit of core work and a little bit of a side stretch and working into the shoulder and potentially the glutes a little bit as well. Good. If this is way too easy, then please feel free to come up onto your feet. You can stagger them and you can lift up and over and then take it down, tap and lift up and over. Good. Good, or stick to the slightly easier option. Let's go for four, nice, three, Good, two more. Last one. And maybe 
amazing. Let's change sides. So the same thing. Oh, on the other side. So let's start down on the floor. Heels come back towards the bum and we are going to lift up and stretch. Take it down, good. Up and stretch. Good. Nice, remember to come up onto your feet if you can. Lift up and stretch and bring it down. Good, working into the side of the body here and into the shoulders. Nice strong muscles, even though we're not at the gym. Make sure you can carry your shopping and a baby if you're having one or if you have one. Let's go for two more. Oh, my shoulder's burning. Last one. Oh, nice one, guys. Shake out the arms if you need to. Wipe your sweat. Grab a drink. And we have just two exercises to finish. Then you can replay the video or we can do a few stretches. Ooh, so standing with some space either side. We are going to go into a side lunge. So leg comes out, sink down, sink the bum back, reach forward if it helps with the arms. Come back to centre and the other side, same thing. So you should feel it in the inner thighs here. Good, alternating sides. Nice. I feel like I used to really struggle with these, like it's a bit of a weird movement. But if you just remember, it's as if your hips are being pulled back towards the wall behind you, then your knee shouldn't go far over your toe and you should feel an inner thigh stretch and you're obviously working into the leg that's bent. I think I have crazy sticky out hair right now, so it's about that. Good guys. Each time, think about lifting back up through your heel so the weight shouldn't be in your toes. If you push up through your heel here to come back, it just activates your glutes a little bit more, especially if you are more quad dominant. Good. Might I add, I should have said this at the start of the video, I'll put it in the description, but if you are pregnant, I might recommend wearing trainers, just because the joints are a little bit more prone to injury, and we don't want anyone tw twisting their ankle or hurting themselves. Good, let's go for four more. Let's go down for four, three, nice, last two. Last one, good, shake out the legs. Final exercise we're gonna do is a squat pulse just to burn out the legs. So you can take the distance that feels right for you. Some people prefer a narrow squat. Some people like really wide. I'm gonna go somewhere in the middle and we are going to sink down and hold. Good, and we're just gonna pulse here. Good. Think about tucking your pelvis under so you're not arching your lower spine and keep your chest nice and lifted. You don't wanna be wrenching up. You don't wanna be folded over like this. So just keep nice and open, arms out in front if it helps. Good, if that's too challenging, come up a little bit higher, but just keep going and get low if you can. Nice. Good, let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, get low, six, five, keep going, four, three, two, keep pulsing, and come up. Nice, guys, hopefully you felt that. Okay, go back to the start if you want to repeat that from the beginning, if you've got more time or if you want to be more sweaty. Otherwise, let's do a few stretches. So let's start with a few cat cows. So we are just going to look up, try not to, for me personally, I don't really want to do this with my lower back because I'm quite lordotic, especially if you're pregnant, maybe just stick to neutral and then we're just gonna round the spine. Good. If it feels nice, you can arch the lower back a little bit. And then curl, really stretch out the upper back, middle back and lower back there. Nice, get your breath back as well. Good, come to a neutral position, tuck the toes, uh, bum back to heels and lift up into a downward facing dog. 
and we're just going to bend the knees one by one to get a little bit of a calf stretch here. Good. Nice. Good, let's do a few more. Stretching out the back of the hamstrings as well, come to a stillness with both legs. And then we're gonna drop the knees back down, take them wide and heels to bum, bum to heels. <laughs> Stretch the arms forward into a child's pose. Relax here and then if it feels nice, you can come over to one side and relax down again. Stretch out the left side of the body. Nice, and then walk the hands back through center and the same on the other side, just melt down. Nice guys, we're just gonna stretch out the glutes. Ooh, attacking my palm. So coming down onto our backs. And if you can, just hook one ankle over your knee, grab that leg and just pull, just to stretch out. Really wanna focus on the breath here, big inhale. And then on the exhale, just really relax and pull that little bit closer. Nice, let's do a few more breaths here. Good, and bring it down on a hook and the same on the other side. Good, this is quite an uncomfortable stretch for most people. <laughs> Good, really obviously lowering the heart rate here and stretching some of the muscles that we've worked. Good. Last breath here. Nice, and release down. Perfect, rolling onto our fronts. We are going to come into a plank position and then you're just gonna walk your hands towards your feet. Keep the knees soft, stretch down, feel a little bit of a hamstring stretch Relax the head and the neck, you can grab the opposite elbow and then we're going to roll up bit by bit, hopefully not attacking your front. Whew. We are done! Well done guys, hopefully you absolutely smashed it and feel much better post-workout. You can go grab a shower now and get on with the rest of your day knowing that you've got some movement out of the way which will hopefully make you a little bit more productive and feeling good. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for taking part. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Click the subscribe button for more workout videos and lots more content. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.